Hi, everybody. Jill Lancet, welcome back. Or well, welcome, if this is the first time you're here with me. Um, yeah, um, I'm back to making Christmas cards. Now, if you watched the last video, if not, I will put a link up on the screen. Um, we made a gift card and it was a blokey bloke birthday card for one of my sons but I have actually made it into a Christmas card so I'll just show you that there I've used the ephemera um, and the beautiful take a bow take a bow um, Christmas paper so yeah if you're giving cards for Christmas this is ideal. I don't know if you can see that, but it actually slides the gift card out for them to get it out. And we've put a little closure on there. Have a look at the video. Um, in that video also, there is um, a link to a, a vertical one, a portrait style one, but have a look at that. But tonight we're going to make, actually we're gonna make a couple. Um, I've got lots of bits and bobs out here and I thought that these were actually that 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 card actually that card took me 15 minutes to make from start to finish 15 minutes I am not kidding so have a look at that there's heaps of room to write on the back um yeah go and have a look at that video and, and there will be a link at the end now I've got um this set here it's a bundle greetings of the season um all the details will be below in the description. We're going to use some of the stamps from here. We're also going to use some of the dies that are in the bundle. And they are these beautiful uh, tags. So there's actually nine dies. I've got some of them out. Um, but they're all tags and they've all got holes in them for you to thread a uh, ribbon or whatever through. Let's get going. Now, I have here the uh, Christmas ephemera pack. I will show it to you in the uh, mini catalogue. Let me see which page it is on. Um, it is on this page here, 15, page 15. And this is the one I have. It is called... Uh, joyful images now there are three to choose from and then there are some beautiful cards that have got gold foiling on them uh, all on page 15 of the September to December mini catalog um, you can actually download that and look through that uh, at your leisure you can have a look at it here on my uh, in my store jewellancet.stampinup.net if you're in Australia Okay, so here they are in real life and I've started using bits and pieces of them and I've been pulling pieces out. So it's a good idea to keep it in something because, yeah, once you start pulling them out, they're everywhere. I've got all these loose ones here. So, um, yeah, so they're in there now. Oh, gosh, yeah. And it's tricky to get them back in again. So I've also got the beautiful uh, Take a Bow. Uh, Take a Bow Designer Series Paper 6x6. Six six. Um, we're going to be using some of that. I'm going to pop all of this over here. Now, I've already started. These are the cards we're going to make. And, yeah, we're going to make one that's kind of different. Very, very simple. I'm using a tag from that bundle, a stamp set, some of the ephemera, some embellishments and string that's that one it's kind of raised up at the top here this one here has the tag lifting up on the corner and i've used a piece of ephemera there and some retired uh, gems i believe they're retired um very very quick now i'm going to show you how i've put these together of course they've got wink of stella all over them what would be the point of a Christmas card without Wink of Stella. Um, now, have I forgotten anything? You know who I am, yeah? Okay, right. So I've got all this stuff here and we are going to get straight into it. There's also a bonus card 
So stick around, stick right to the end because there is a bonus card. Now, I think this ribbon might be retired. I'm not sure. I'll check that and uh, put the details uh, if so. So you need, uh, obviously, a card base. Um, mat 2, I believe this is. Mat 2. So whatever country you are in, if you're in Australia... Uh, your mat two is, hang on, let me see. No, it must be mat three. Mat three, yep. Mat three is, oh no, it is mat two. I was right in the first place. 9.5 by 13.85, okay? Now, if you're in the US, it's also mat two but your, your size is different. Now, if you don't have these, a copy of these, you can request this. You will get the PDF. Where is it? Where is it? Hang on. Is that it? Hang on. I think everything's going to tumble down. Hold your horses, honey. Yep, that's it. Up on my bookshelf here. Um, you will receive the PDF, which will give you both. It's important to have both because if... I'm doing it in metric and you want to know the details in uh, US, you can look it up. Likewise, if uh, you're in the US, uh, you're in Australia and somebody is doing a card in US, you can just check the nearest measurements and replicate that by using your conversion. So you will need both of them. So yeah, it's free. You can email me here. Tilly2145 at gmail.com. Okay? Now, I did, I cut them out. I cut both of them out because I'm doing this all day. I'm very visual. I like to see what they look like. Okay? But yeah, you can just use the list. Um, so, Matt, two, I've, only, I've got two here. Let's pop that away and we'll get going, hey? So, I've got. I had some scraps and, and, and you know, you, you can utilise your scraps for your Christmas cards. And I'm going to show you how we can do that. So that is for the third card. Uh, that is for the third card that we're going to make. Um, yep. Yeah. All of this. Right. Hold your horses, honey. I feel like I speed through my videos. If you think I, you know, talk too fast or go too fast, just, you know, let me know. And, um, yeah. So what I did was I had some uh, pieces. I had like a half a sheet of the basic white. So I've cut that down to, I think it's seven and a half by ten and a half. Where's my, uh, where's my rule? Yep, ten and a half by seven and a half. So these are all the same. They fit all of the tags on there. And we are going to do that right now. So I've got some bits and pieces all ready to go. So card base over there. So what I've done is I've cut a piece of uh, this designer series paper. Now you can choose which side you want. Um, we'll put them all together at the end. I think I'll go with some solid colours uh, just for a change. So the first thing I want to do is stamp. Now I'm going to, this just fits this on here. So I'm going to pop that down and I'm going to ink up my greeting. Now, my greeting is going to be it's the most wonderful time of the year. I'm going to do that in the cherry cobbler. Now, we are going to cut this out, obviously. And I will need my little mini in a minute. I, I swear this this space gets smaller every time I make a video or a card. <laughs> um, yeah, and I've been 
I've been doing cards all day today, so I've had a lovely day, really. Um, so I've got a little bit of half of a, well, not half, but less than half of a, a stamp and pierce mat. I like to have just a little one because I keep having less and less room. Anyway, you know what I mean. So I'm just going to pop that in there like that. And I want that around about the middle because I'm going to put some ribbon on here. So I'm going to pop that down like that. I'm going to give that some nice firm pressure. The pad, the stamp and pierce mat, pushes back, pushes up at the same time as you're pushing down. So you get a really good impression with the um, photopolymer stamps. Now let's just let's just put the lid on that so that nothing untoward happens. So here is my mini. I have my plates here and we are going to run this through. I've got that stuck down. And I hope that didn't move. It moved a little bit, but that's okay. There we go. On we go. And let's just cut that out. Okay. Pop that down there for the minute. We're going to use that again in a moment. So now I've got this beautiful tag. Look at it. How gorgeous is that? Okay. That was that one there. So... I'm going to take my card, I'm going to fold that, it's already been scored, it's standard card base. So whatever the standard card base in your country is, that is what we are using. And I'm just going to give that a bit of a burnish. We are going to put one of these on here, now if you want to you you want really quick cards? Use your um, seal. It makes for really quick cards. I can tell you. I can vouch for that. So that's going on there like that. It's a nice border all the way around. It ties the white in of the tag. So there we go. There's that there. Here is our tag. Now we want to do something with this tag. So I want to wrap some of this around here and I'm going to make a bow. So I'm just going to snip that off. Just going to snip it off. Put some seal on the back. And let's see. Just about just about there, I think. Somewhere like that. Now you can use this basic layout and make as many different cards as you can think of. Right, now I'm gonna do a tiny little bow. Okay, so I do rabbit ears, you do, you do your bows the way you do them. And, oh, hang on. I just had a terrible thought that that wasn't recording. You know I'm paranoid now. Every time it doesn't, it does something, I'm really paranoid. Oh dear, never mind. Look, there we go. Tiny little bow, just like that. And I'm going to trim that off there. Trim that off there. Now, I think that might be retired, as I said, I'm not sure. But that's going to go on there. I need a couple of uh, glue dots, one underneath, and then one for the ribbon. So I just, I just pop that under there. I can see the glue dot, it's right there. Okay, give it a bit of a rub. Peel it off and press that down. And then one for the bow. Now, this is real red, but you know what? It doesn't matter. 
doesn't matter you can have different shades of the same color look look at that isn't that gorgeous so now that is going to go on there and I thought I might put this wreath on the top what do you think which way should we have it I think actually we'll have it like straight now yeah, we've got a bow at the top and a bow at the bottom. I think that looks pretty good. So I'm going to glue that on. I'm going to use some liquid glue. And I'm going to glue that on towards the bottom. Just like that. Make sure that's in the centre. And then, and then... I think I'll pop that up. So I need some uh, dimensionals just on the back of this wreath. That's how easy it is to make a gorgeous Christmas card. I've used the ephemera pieces. This is, uh, the wreath is the, the ephemera piece. Uh-oh. Hold on, honey. I just dropped the glue. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so look at that. Now, I can pop that on the top there like that. And then I thought I might bring in my spatter box. Yep, bring in my spatter box. Remember our Perfect Pearls solution from the other day? Um, and if you didn't see that video yet, yeah, go and have a look at that. And I think I'll just do some. And then what I'll do is I'll just take, take the spritzer out, she says. <laughs> and just do some big drops. There we go. That's what I want. And it's making my writing run. So there we go. Let's just let's just blot that up before it does too much damage. Didn't think of that, did I? No. Okay, so there's card number 1. Card number 1. And it's got a beautiful gold sheen to it. It's got some blobs of gold. You could be a little more selective than I was. Um, and now I've got it all over me. But that's card number one. Very, very easy. We used a tag. We used some of the ephemera. And we'll move on to card number two. We'll have a look at them all at the end, okay? So here is card number two. <clears throat> We're going to do exactly the same thing. We are going to... Now, whatever you put in the middle is up to you, okay? So I have another piece of um, the green. And I think I like the, the, the background to be quite, um, you know, dark. So I'm going to pop this on here. And... that on there like that same border all the way around I'm going to use the same uh, tag so I'm going to use this tag here I'm going to pop this on here like this I'm going to use um, this greeting which says may your holiday season be filled with warmth and cheerful celebration so we're going to do this one in the um, cherry cobbler the greeting and we'll try that on a bit of scrap first okay brilliant right 
So I'm, st I'm stamping first and then I'm cutting. Um, you can do it the other way, of course, if you have a good eye. Um, but this is a little bit easier if you uh, only have a small piece and you want to get this straight. So I'm going to pop that in there like that. May your season, holiday season, be filled with warmth and cheerful celebration. Right. Let's move that. I'm just going to press down on that. Just give that a bit of firm pressure. There we go. Look at that. How gorgeous. I'm going to close that because we know what's going to happen, don't we? I'm going to bring back Bertha. And just make sure that this is lined up. I, I've made myself some notes on here. So let's see. That looks fairly straight. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? Let's have a look. Can you see that? That looks reasonably, reasonably straight. Now look, it won't be the end of the world if this is crooked because we're this one we're going to put on an angle, okay? So we'll pop that in there, we'll run that through there. Very, very quick. Now, if you were making these, you would kind of do it like, you know, um, you know, you do all your stamping, all your die cutting. Um, oh, and I've got writing on there, but that's okay. I have an eraser here. There are my little notes. I'm just going to rub them out. But you know what? You probably won't even see them because we are going to do some ink blending on this one. Okay. There we go. We'll pop that over there. We'll keep that there in case we need it. Now, I've got a piece of scrap paper here. I have my blending brush and I have my uh, green, garden green. Now, I don't want this to be too dark. I just want it to be just to add a bit of colour to it. So I'm just very lightly going around the edge. And it brings out those, um, those little holes that, it's, that the die cuts. It accentuates them so well that um, they're now a feature. I mean, they were a feature, but now they're even more of a feature. So there we go, we've done that. And we can pop that over there. And this one, I was actually going to pop up this. So we will pop this like this. We might, we might pop the top of this up. And of course, we are going to throw some uh, Wink of Stella or something on there. So I'm going to just quickly glue that on there. I just want the bottom half of it to be glued. Yep. Okay, why are you not working now? Oh. Oh, I'm pretty sure we all saw that coming. <laughs> so let's have a look. We'll get some of it off. And I'll pop that up just right in the middle. Doesn't that look lovely? Just lovely, just a simple poinsettia. And then we do want some um, Stampin' Dimensionals on here. I'm only going to do half raised and it's going to be this half with the uh, poinsettia on it. And the other I'm going to glue. Yep, look at that. How good is that? So we'll just take the backing off these. And... If you can get them off. And we'll pop some glue on here. If it cooperates. There we go. And I'm just going to pop that on there like that. And I'm going to put some, 
I have got some of these brushed metallic. Um, I've got another packet. Just let me show you what they're called. Brushed metallic adhesive backed dots. So I thought I might just put a few of those around. I might just use up the rest of these gold ones. So bear with me for two seconds while I just do that. I've got one there and a small one. And we'll pop um, a big one down here. We'll pop a small one over here somewhere. And we might even um, pop one of these up here. What do you think? So that's the two cards we've just made. Okay, so we are going to make now with the scraps. So when you cut your six by six paper down, you are left with uh, these sort of panels. So we're actually going to use those. And if you make two cards, I think you've got more than enough to make one or even two more cards using the scraps so I'm going to show you this is still in my head so I hope I hope it works out so bear with me okay just hang on I need some brain zapping hang on cheers everybody okay so um I think I was going to use this one here and I was going to use another stamp set, another two stamps from the same stamp set, which is, no, it's not that one. Which one is it? Oh, it's this one. I think it's that one. Hang on. No, it's not. It's these two. I told you I've been off with the pixies making cards all afternoon. So, yeah. So, we'll pop that there like that. And then we'll have a look at this one. And we'll check it out. So, we want Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. Just like that. And then happy up there like that so just bear with me in case my head gets in the way I'm hoping that's straight now there's one way to find out and that is to ink it up what did I just do with that ink here it is stop looking I found it that's how I do it I generally do it by eye um, that looks okay that's going to fit in there perfectly right so what we need to do is to just basically tape this on here loosely so that we know where we're stamping it I'm going to stamp this in the green and just bear with me do that there we go now we need another card base I've got one here and I have some ephemera pieces picked out now let me just tell you these these bits and pieces um, they they cut out you're left with pieces like this and the best way to do this is if I give you the measurements um, I'll put them in in the box below, okay? Hang on, no, I think I've got them here. Here I have, I have, I have. So we want this to be the same uh, mat two. So in order to get that same mat two, I've got all of these pieces here. So what I need to do is I need to cut some of them down. So I believe I've cut these down. 
believe I've cut these down. So what I did was I've cut one in, in A4, you want with these pieces here, you've got strips that are over and you've got panels that are over. So you want one that is 5.5. So that's this piece here, I believe. Hang on. 5.5. Then you want one that is uh, 2.5. 2.5 and then you want one that is 1.5 so they go down in those increments now if you're in the US you want this panel to be two inches this panel to be one and one eighth and this panel to be five eighths now that will actually make up mat two which is what we've put on these cards here that's this one here, okay? But now we're going to piece them back together again. And I've got a couple of other bits that I can use as well. So what I want to do is um, see which ones I want. I think, do I want those ones? This is a bonus card and I haven't decided yet what yet I'm going to do. I think, I think I might have it this way. Only because we're going to be putting some things on. Now, where is that little rubber gone? Hang on. That's what we call erasers. Because I scribbled on these when I was working out the sizes. Okay, so we want those on there like that. Now, how you want them is up to you. If you want them like that or like that. That's totally up to you. Now, these are the bits that I've got on there. Maybe I should put them... Maybe I should turn these around the other way. Let me have a look. Hold the horses, honey. Actually, I think it's this way. Yeah. Now, these pieces, you can put them in all sorts of configurations, okay? We can have small, medium, large. Or we can have... Uh, medium, um, medium, small, large. You can have them with this one in the middle. Um, it totally depends on you how you want to arrange these. So that's why those measurements are really, really good. If you've got scraps left over, you can do this and have all different cards. Now that looks like it's like, you know, maybe the one sheet with that panel in the middle. So it depends what scraps you've got over and the way that you actually put them onto the card. Now, I can't remember how I wanted them, so I think I wanted them like that. So I'm going to start putting these down. Now, I will use liquid glue because I will have a fair bit of slippage, you know, like wriggle room. And I'm going to pop this down here like this. And I want that same little border. So if you in doubt, check the top and the bottom and then make the border the same on the edges. Now that actually does need to be uh, burnished. Hang on. Right, so I've got that piece down now. Now I want to put this piece next to it. Okay. So a bit of glue on the back. So I made two cards earlier uh, and they really did take no time at all. So, and you can layer your car, your designer series paper up. I, I don't usually do more than two. So you can put two six by six sheets together and cut them at the same time and you'll be cutting two cards out at the same time. So that will actually save you a bit of time as well. So I'm gonna pop this piece on the end here and now we have a bit of a card base with some designer series paper on it that is scraps. So, you know, we're getting a second use out of these scraps. Now, the other thing I wanted to do was to, I think I will actually put some gold or something on this before I do anything else. So... 
just bear with me while I get this back because I don't want this all over everything, okay? So we'll just spray this. So this is this now makes this piece even more special because it's not just scraps anymore. It's like golden. So we'll just wait for that to dry. I'll pop that over here and we'll wait for that to dry. Um, so now we can get on with our um, greeting. And I was going to use this small, small er label. So let me just line this up and get this cut and hang on let me just check it out okay right so I can run that through now um, through my little uh, mini die cut and emboss machine. Now I hope that's going to fit. No, of course it's not. Hold your horses, honey, while I just snip some of this off so it fits. Yeah, that's better. Now we'll pop that through and we'll see what we can do regarding the label for this now. that's another scrap so see out of those two cards that I made earlier I still have these uh, pieces here that I can use for another scrappy card another scrappy card and it doesn't look like scrap because we're going to make it super super special so I think what we'll do is we might get some uh, real red I've got my little real red uh, ink spot here and I'm going to go around the edge just like this and these little ones are really good because you can get into tricky little um, spots with them just by going like that I can get into those little little tricky spots so I'm just running that down there like that down there like that and last side here and we might even do some um, we might even do some inking on there now that I'm thinking about it hold your horses honey where is my I think this is the red one hang on Oh, it's got purple on it but that's close enough let's have a look here we don't want too much okay we just want to accentuate it that's all there we go look at that doesn't that look lovely and I might use both the gold and the real red let's see how I can get this in in the hole let's have a look so we might just take a length of both. Just hold your horses, honey. Bear with me. Let's just cut that off about there. So I've got them both. I've got some of the gold trim. And I'm going to fold them in half and poke them through. Okay. So I'm going to poke them through that little hole. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Good luck with that. So just bear with me while I do my best. Okay, we've got that one. We've got that one. Yay. There we go. Hang on. Right. So now these pieces go through here. All of them go in there.
And so we, you see we've done a couple of different um, kinds of, hang on, what's happened there? Hang on. Right. Gosh, I didn't know where I was for a second there. Right, I think that's right. So now we've got gold and red on that tag. Isn't that nice? Now, if that, you know, doesn't want to stay straight, just scrape it along with your scissors and you'll be right. So here's our little piece. It's already um, dry. I've got some of these trees that I used on another card the other day. So I want to put those across. Now, I'm going to glue those straight down, but I want to lift up Santa's sleigh a bit. I've got to have room for this. Happy Christmas. And I think that's it. Right, let's glue this one straight down. We might just go down a little bit further than I was. We'll pop Santa's sleigh up on some dimensionals. So we need one there, one there, one there. We've got some little bits here that can go there and there and there. I like to cut these sheets in half and then I've got a selection of different bits and pieces. So let's pop this on here. This is your bonus card. Uh, made from the scraps that were left over. Um, so if you sit down and work all of this out, you could have a real production line happening and yeah, no, no wastage, no scraps over. So then we can pop this on here. We'll trim that down. I think what we'll do is we'll put some dimensionals on the back of this at the bow end, one there. On there let's have a look I think that looks good so we'll take them the backs off those we'll pop some glue on here because we can trim that later we'll trim that ribbon and stuff later and we'll pop that on there just like that and then we can trim these all at different angles And you can even fray that, I think. I'm not sure if you can fray this one. Let's have a look. Don't know. Don't know if you can fray it. I think you can. I think if you've got your take your pick and you kind of, you know, frayed it out like that, that would look pretty good, I reckon. So I'm just poking it in there and pulling it up so that it frays. Just bear with me for two seconds and I'll just have a look at that. I think that needs to be shorter, that one, this one here. So we'll just pop that down. Now, if they don't cooperate, then you can sort of just put a little bit of glue behind it or something like that. And there we go. There's that. Now, we might actually put a couple more of those um, gold, the retired ones. Where are they? Oh, no. What about these ones? We'll put these ones on, eh? Yeah, look at these. Oh, they're lovely. They show what's happening behind it. Um pop that one down there and we'll put a big one over here there we go what do you think what do you think about that let's have a look at them all let's get some of this stuff out of the way oh what a mess what a mess okay i'm just gonna 
just going to push it out. Okay, so I will have all of the details below with the measurements, etc. So this is the last one we made. It is made from scraps. Um, I think it's a cute little card. Uh, the other one that we just made was this one here with the, the poinsettia on it. This is the first one we made with the gold all over it. There were two that I made previously off screen um, with the beautiful tags. This one I've left the tag up to have a bit of movement in it. And then there was the little gift uh, card, which there is a link. I don't know what side it's going to be on, but look out for that. Um, that there is a link. So all things Christmas today. So we have our gift card, messy desk, gift card, two that I made previously off screen, um, and the two that I made, and the bonus one. So what do you reckon about that? I think that looks okay. Oh, no, you can't see them all. Let me just move the camera up just a smidge so I don't have to move them all again. Okay, now, there's a great joining fee at the moment. Um, it's $169 Australian, and you choose up to $286 worth of goodies. Now, my advice is to get your shopping list ready to get first before you do anything. Um... It is actually works out to $117 Australian worth of extra goods for $169. That's a bargain. Um, now, you can also put clearance items in. If there's anything in the clearance rack that you want, put that in there. Um, you get more bang for your buck. Um, then also the kits, which are up to 30% off. And all of this ends on Halloween, on the 31st of October. So if you're thinking about uh, joining or you want something uh, in the way of kits, then, yep, hop over to my website. There is uh, Jill Lancet. Well, it's my store, actually, jilllancet.stampinup.net. If you have any questions, put them in the comments or you can email me, tilly2145 at gmail.com. If you want a copy of the PDF for the um, mat sizes, then Email request mat uh, templates. I think I might have just about covered everything. I don't know. But it's been one of those Sundays today. Um, of course, let me know what you think in the comments. I'd love to hear what you're thinking. Now, I've just made like five cards today. Just today. So with this very, very quick layout... Bada bing, bada boom, you've got your Christmas cards done. They can all be different. You can make them as different as you want. And if you have the ephemera pack, um, you've got all of these different elements that you can put onto these cards. They're not flimsy. They're, they're quite sturdy. Um, if you pop them up, they will be quite safe. I'll just show you this one here. And they've all been laser cut, so they're really, really good. Um, and, yeah, so all you need is basically a sentiment stamp, the ephemera pack, one packet of paper, and, yeah, Bob's your uncle. I keep saying that. <laughs> that seems to be my phrase at the moment. But anyway, look, have a great Sunday. Do whatever it is you want to do for the rest of your evening, and I'll see you guys all on Thursday. And, uh, yeah, thank you so much. Take care. Hooray. And I'll see you later. Bye.